take a look at how good this cleaner works. On the left, we have fingerprints from my sons playing hide and seek in my closet. And on the right, this is after I've sprayed my cleaner on it and now I'm wiping it off. And look how white and immaculate my wall. <laughs> Hi, this is Janelle. Welcome to Can I DIY, where I teach you affordable, easy DIYs anyone can do. I am a single mom of two very active boys. Currently, they're doing virtual learning and I am working from home, so I'm making these videos for those of us who don't have that much money, but also don't have that much time. We need something that we like. We also need stuff that is sturdy and reliable because we have children. So I hope that you enjoy this video. This video is how to make the most effective DIY cleaner and disinfectant with all the things going on with this pandemic. Um, we need to be cleaning and disinfecting our areas regularly. Um, I'm showing you now my closet. I'm in the process of organizing and cleaning my closet and I'm going to uh, paint it but before I paint it I wanted to make sure that I cleaned it and disinfected it and I want to show you not only how I make my own uh, cleaner and disinfectant but how I clean my area my closet so that I can kill all those germs viruses and bacteria and keep me and my children safe so this is my closet where I keep all my clothes and my personal things so this closet rarely gets clean if ever I've lived in my home for five years now and I don't think I've ever cleaned or disinfected my closet or any of my closets so you can see how they look The first thing that you're going to need is a vacuum and or a broom to clean up the floor of the area that you want to clean. The next thing that you will need is a, a spray bottle. I got mine for uh, less than a dollar, I think it's 97 cent at Walmart, a funnel, and some baking soda. Before you use the disinfectant, you want to make sure you thoroughly clean the floor of whatever area that you're trying to clean and disinfect. Because I have carpet and I want it to be as clean and odorless as possible, after I vacuum the first time, I always sprinkle it with some baking soda. Now I'm gonna make the disinfectant. What you're gonna need is a half a cup of baking soda. Then you're gonna fill up the rest of the bottle with water. Now after this, you're basically done with your disinfectant. However, I like my disinfectant to smell good. So I'm adding lavender essential oil, just a couple of drops to my disinfectant. You can use whatever type of essential oil that you want. So you have it whatever scent that you want, but I personally, my personal favorite is lavender or lemon or peppermint. So not only will your house be clean, it'll smell just how you want it. I'm leaving a link in the description box below of some great um, variety packs of essential oils that I use and that I buy from Amazon. After you finish adding your essential oil, you can put the top on and you can just shake up your bottle and you now have your own personalized disinfectant. You can also use the same recipe to make your own uh, Clorox wipes. Uh, use the same water, essential oil, and baking soda, soda mixture. Put your paper towel with the brown tube taken out, put it in a container, pour the mixture over the Clorox wipes, put the top on, shake it up, let all the paper towel absorb the mixture and there goes your Clorox wipes that you can use to clean everything around your house. Now when people start cleaning, rarely do people clean their walls. They'll clean all the other surface counters, they'll mop their floors, but they don't clean their walls. So now I'm taking my time and I'm spraying down my walls because your walls have all types of germs and stuff too. 
Like I said, I have two young boys. They're always touching my wall. They're hiding. They're doing all types of stuff. So all types of germs and bacteria are on your wall. So you need to make sure that you're cleaning your walls just as much as you're cleaning your other surfaces. Take a look at how good this cleaner works. On the left, we have fingerprints from my sons playing hide and seek in my closet. And on the right, this is after I've sprayed my cleaner on it and now I'm wiping it off. And look how white and immaculate my wall looks now after using this cleaner that cost me cents. I didn't have to spend five, six dollars on some Clorox spray or Lysol spray. I was able to make my own cleaner and disinfectant for pennies on a dollar. The last thing I do is I go back with my vacuum and I vacuum up all of the baking soda that I laid down a little while ago. Showing you again how great this cleaner works on a little smudge that one of my sons put on uh, my closet wall. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please hit that like button and subscribe so that you won't miss out on my next video. Bye.